here very pleased with what you see on it. You see a right-handed pitcher that pitched extremely well, gave us seven good innings, and certainly Clayton came in and did what was also important, and that was pitch well so we didn't have to use others out of the bullpen. We have a, a rested bullpen now for the next two days know that there's obviously a lot of baseball left to be played, but this was a game in which uh, we got a couple of breaks, but our young men took advantage of them, and that's a credit to them. I'm sure you knew. I think we all kind of knew. It was coming. It was only a matter of time, but how nice is it to see Jackson finally be in the Jackson we kind of all expected coming into this year? You know, Kurt, looking at the box score, that was one of the first things that I noticed he was on base all four times because he was disciplined. And that's, that's crucial. And that gave the guys behind him opportunities to do things. And Cal Raleigh gets up there not getting a hit, but yet had a great at bat to drive in a run. So I'm very pleased with the way that we approached the game because that Louisville club is ranked in the top 20 for a reason. They're darn good. Especially when you're, I mean, when looking at the last five innings, especially of this outing for Cole, I mean, factoring in who you're going up against, that's probably some of the best he's thrown in his time here, yeah? Really is. Um, had all three pitches going, was not uh, trying to be too fine. He was being aggressive. Cal did an excellent job of taking charge of the ball game, and that was another thing that helped him helped him out a lot was the way Cal was totally taking charge of the ball game. So with Cole, he didn't start out uh, all that well, but like you just said, he had a drastic improvement. What was uh, what did you say to him after that rough beginning, at least? Well. He's a great competitor, and he was upset that he had so-called given up a base hit after he was so close to getting out of the inning unscathed. And I didn't say anything to him. I, I asked him a question about something else that pertained to the game, but nothing other than you're throwing the ball great, stay tough. And he certainly did for the next six innings. He stayed tough and pitched very well. Drew batting at uh, number three, moving him up in the lineup, but can you maybe kind of let us into the, the decision on that? Do you hope to keep him there despite uh, not the best start for him? Uh, you might say you'll probably see him at five tomorrow. <laughs> 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 he's, uh, he's such a tremendous person. He didn't say a word about flip, flipping with Red. Uh, I don't know if that is the best spot for him or not. I know that uh, Red had done very well. I just felt it was time to try something else. To sit here and say, man, it worked. I, you would go, yeah, I, I know you getting on up there, Martin, but that's a ridiculous statement. So what I'm saying is, I don't know what I'll do tomorrow with the lineup, except to say that they're throwing a right-hander, so we'll probably try to get some more left-handed bats in there. How, how difficult is it for a guy to, to move up two spots? I mean, I, I guess maybe going from five to three more so than anywhere else in the lineup. Some guys have a problem hitting in certain spots in the lineup. They're just not comfortable. I don't think that's the case either way. It's just some people just feel more comfortable in certain spots. And I'm not saying that Drew feels better hitting fifth. Uh, they understand that it, it's not – whether they feel better or not is whether I feel better or not. I want to know a lot about guys 
and try to find out where they're most comfortable. And it'll be interesting to uh, to see tomorrow. I, I, I may go right back to the same lineup tonight. I, I, I really have that thought. Drew can hit anywhere in the lineup. I just, just feel that way. Anything else for Coach? All righty. All right. We'll get uh, Jeff.